Hello. Hello again. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm really sad that the, um, the stream worked on Facebook, which I'm happy about, but it did not work on YouTube. So it's this new, um, new app that I'm using. Good morning, Maria. And it was supposed to let me stream to both YouTube and it didn't work. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm just seeing you guys can see the little event bookmark thing. I'm just typing to you guys. <laughs> Hold on one sec. So I'm just saying, hi, just refresh the page and exit out of here and the video should be first one up. So sorry for the confusion. <laughs> Aw, so we have um, on the other uh, video bookmark event holder thing, there's uh, Ann B. Crafts Reads, um, Tracy Martindale Louise Cole, Sam of Mixed Up Craft, hello. Good morning. Okay, somebody say something. <laughs> Cause I don't, I'm, okay, I think, I think we're okay. Yay! Good morning, smile is the new color. Karis, Karis, how do you say your name? That's beautiful. Hello Sam, how are you? <laughs> okay, super bummed, super bummed about that. But it's cool, it's cool. I feel like everybody's been struggling with <laughs> live streams. And sometimes that happens. And be craft reads, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you, that's so nice, hello. Gadis, wait, I said it two ways, Gadis or Karis? Gadis, first one, or second one, Karis? All right, there we are, hooray. Okay, let's get started. The worst is having technical difficulties. Karis, that's gorgeous. Does that mean Grace? Grace in Greek? Ooh, Sam is doing her makeup again. She's heading out. Where are you heading out, Sam? You should do a makeup tutorial. Good morning, Louise. Good morning, Tracy. Maria, hello. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get started because if I could talk about these technical difficulties and how stressful they are all day. So today, <laughs> ooh, Sam's going shopping and lunch. To lunch, that's fun. What are you gonna shop for? I'm gonna go shopping after the live as well. Um, I'm gonna go get some stuff for our dinner tonight. So it should be fun. I like going shopping <laughs> um, for food. <laughs> Amby, I think you are the only one from the US that's awake right now. Are you on the East Coast? Thank you for watching. You are a superstar. Thank you, really appreciate it. All right, so today I went to, um, I went to, no I didn't go. I received the stuff that I got from the Craft Stash sale, which was uh, the 20th. They had a 20% off on the 20th, which was cool. So here's my package. I'm just removing the address so you don't see it. Um, so this is what I bought. Look, it's even in the package. I didn't open it. I got it yesterday and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna hold on to it. Then that way I can just like open it with everybody. And we can all ooh and dot over it. <laughs> Some exciting stuff that I've been wanting for a long time. Some not so exciting. It's just like glue, which is, exciting I guess but I guess yeah glue is exciting tell me if glue excites you <laughs> it does <laughs> hello Allie hello <laughs> Louise says oh my how could you wait it was it was difficult I saw it and I had to put it away I'm like ooh, my thing is here my package is here and I put it in a bag so I wouldn't have to look at it and be tempted oh no oh no we're good Oh, Maria has to go mattress shopping. That 
That's awesome. I wish I was going massive shopping. All right. So, oh. <laughs> so Craft Stash is where I used to work. Ambi, it's an online store, online craft supply store. And if you want to buy anything, head to craftstash.us. All right. First thing that I got, I know you probably know what I got. <laughs> Cosmic Shiver dries clear glue. Hooray! Yes, yes, yes. So this is the most magical glue in the world. It is suitable for all use. In all craft projects, it is a high strength acrylic glue, especially formulated for craft projects. It dries completely clear and has excellent bonding properties. <laughs> this is the best glue, seriously. It works on, um, pretty much like anything. I've used it on sequins, I've used it on paper, cardstock, felt, ribbons. Uh, if you're using, if you're gluing down any kind of ribbons, it does take a little bit more time for you to, for it to set. So you just kind of have to hold it down, but it's great for like mini albums. I know that's what Helen Griffin of Simply Made Crafts uses to create her, her mini albums with. So it's a really great, great adhesive. Highly recommend cannot speak um, more highly about it. It's great. <coughs> I had the little event holder open and I should have, I closed it down like the little window because if anybody was in there, I wanted to be like, hey, come over here. <laughs> that was wrong. My whole setup is just messed up today. Really bummed about that. Give me one second, let me check and see if anyone's over there watching. Everything is so slow today, it seems. All right, Maria's going shopping. Okay, the next thing I got, which I'm super excited about, is these. They are the Webster's Color Crush, sorry, Color Crush. Webster's Pages, sorry, Webster's Pages Traveler Notebook Inserts Clear Planner Refills. You can't really see them. So um, there's a, it's just like a little insert you put in your Traveler's Notebook and you can put like your business cards. It has a zippy pocket and I will show you how this works in just a bit. I have my little, um, my Webster's Traveler's Notebook. So that goes in there. Super cool, little storage wallet. So you can put like your IDs, business cards, and then a little zippy, zippy pocket on the side to put additional things. So really excited about that. I'll show you how to put that in your traveler's notebook. Give me one second. Hold on. Not seeing anybody over here. That's good. I mean, I am really sorry about <laughs> about what happened. It shall get fixed. I just need to do a little bit more research, I think. Just get it all sorted, because <clears throat> doing this from home is a little tricky. All right. Okay. Now, the next thing I got. Tell me if you got anything on the 20% off sale. Um, I know a lot of you guys took advantage of it, the 20% discount. Um, they have, Craft Stash has really good, um, good deals, good discounts for if for um, new customers. So if you're a new customer, I think like Craft Stash UK, you'll get 20% off for first timers. And then uh, if you are a first timer in the UK, no, sorry, first time in the UK is 15, no, 20% off. First time customer in the US is 20%, 15% off. So head over there. Uh, now I can't see, now I can't see you guys. All right, give me one second. Okay, anyway, Let's see if that loads. 
I'm gonna give up. Maria, have fun mattress shopping. That sounds awesome. Okay, so the next thing I got, you're probably like, oh, it's kind of boring, but these are the best things in the world. They are A4 sized uh, masking sheets from Styx 2. Now, these are great for um, creating masks for your stamps. And I'm gonna show you how to use these to create some ATC cards for, you know, whether you do ATC card swaps or pocket letters. These are a great little addition to your stash and they're so cheap. I'm surprised I didn't get more. Why did I only just get one? So these are one pound each. So that's like a dollar thirty for an A4 size. And it goes a long way because once you make your masks, you don't toss them, you save them with your stamps. And uh, why did I just get one? I should have got three. What was I thinking? Hmm, okay. <laughs> Uh, Sam of Mix of Crafts says that she loves those. Tracy loves her masking sheets too. Uh, Ambie says that she did shop at Joanne's, a USA craft store, yep, not long after Christmas with a gift card her sister's uh, boyfriend gave her. That's awesome. That's so cool. All right. So, the next thing I got, okay, really, 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 really excited about these. So, as you know, I like Jane Davenport stuff. And um, earlier this year, she released a, earlier last year, earlier last year, she released a Making Faces collection, which was inspired by makeup. So I got the birthday suit palette. So this is a set of cake pastels and they are so cool. So I got to try them all at Craft Stash when we did our Facebook Live. And I really wanted my own set. They are so cool, guys. Why can't I open it? So um, these are really fun for, you can use them for mixed media. They are for mixed media, but they're just so beautiful because they look like a little eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. Don't use it on your face. <laughs> So that opens up and then you can, comes with a little swatch card. So there's that beautiful girl, Jane Davenport. Amazing. And then on the back, it has the little swatches for you to, the little swatches for you to uh, test out your colors. Deb, hello. So that's that one. Gonna swatch those up, but also want to do show you how they work. Oh, this is so cool! It's so new. There's something about this being brand new. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? So I think there's 16 colors. 18, 18 cake pastels. Strip down to your birthday suit with the soft neutral tones of these palette pastels. 18 beautiful hues blend easily to add subtle dimension and sophistication, sophistication to your creative project. I'm having too much fun reading these uh, <laughs> these um, product descriptions. So anyway, super excited about that, those. And the reason I got these, other than I really wanted them for a long time, guys, months and months I was waiting for these. Um, I wanted to get the, this one, the foundation um, layer set. So this is a set of stencils and you can like customize faces, beautiful faces, like Jane Davenport, she's so talented. So you can customize those gorgeous little faces with these stencils, build your faces, build your face. And, um, and I'm gonna use these to, upside down. So I'm gonna use these to color in and build these beautiful faces. I'm surprised at how they come. There seems to be a mat board attached to this, which it's funny because it doesn't say that in the product description, guys. What? It's like, a, it's like an extra bonus treat I wasn't expecting. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so how do I open this? Where's the, hmm. It comes with like a little canvas. That's so cool. All right, 
We're getting there. We're getting there. Hold <laughs> on. What's happening? Tracy says her typos are rife. She got split on one finger. So one finger typing star. Oh no, Tracy, what happened to your other finger? <clears throat> <gasps> Guys, it comes with, who is it? Who just logged on? That's another American. Yay. Deb, oh yeah, Deb is from the States. Thank you for watching. You guys, it's so early for you guys. So it comes, the stencils come with this little canvas, like paint till you faint. So you can use your stencils on that or save it for another, um, another project. But I don't think that was on the product description. So I'm really surprised and it's a good surprise. <laughs> Amber, Amby is happy because, um, Deb is also from the States. You guys are up early. Thank you for watching. Ooh, so these are the stencils to build. I wish. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> that would be cool. Just like, if these were just slightly bigger, these eyebrows, I could use them as a stencil. <laughs> wow, it's 4.30 in, uh, Missouri? That's early. What the heck? Where are you up at 223? That's so cool. <laughs> Sam says that she would try that. <laughs> I really want to try it. I need to go grab my makeup bag. It'd be hilarious. Oh, her newborn is up. Oh. Georgia is 523. You guys are troopers and early risers. Okay. So. That is amazing, you guys. If you want to get the stencils, I'm going to show you how to use them. So they work um, together to build. So it comes with a little like neckline, a flower, some pearls, and then the option for long hair. And then if you only stencil halfway, then you get the short little bob action. <laughs> Ambie's going to go back to bed after this. Yes. <laughs> Debbie Love also has to go back to bed too early. So, and then you can build your, pick your different eyes, your lips and your brows. That's cool. <laughs> okay, and then it has the, <laughs> stop now. It has the, um, the little hole punch here. So I think you can um, put a little ring binder through it to hold these together. And it comes with that extra, if you can see that, it's like proper canvas, guys. That's cool, I didn't know that. I didn't know it came together. So if you guys wanna get any of these things, I have my uh, links below if you um, click their affiliate links. So I will get a percentage of anything that you buy, <laughs> a percentage of the purchase cost. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> And anyway, anyway, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps me to like replenish my paper stack and buy, buy some paper and some more Jane Davenport stuff. So anyway, if you want to click those links, they're in the video description. So that's what I got at Craft Stash. Super fun. Um, Tracy Martindale says, that she needs, she needs these. <clears throat> Ambie, it's so awesome to get to talk to you too. I'm glad that you're watching. Thank you for watching so early. And also thank you to everybody. My UK friends and my US friends are together. It's like a happy, happy little world. <laughs> okay, so let's get to testing these goodies out because I'm really excited to try the faces. Which should I try first? I'm thinking I want to try the faces first. Yeah, let's go with the faces. So this is the part where, close your eyes for a second while I switch my cameras up. <coughs> um, I wasn't gonna have this problem anymore with that app that I was <laughs> using that didn't work. Boo. Okay, so to test out my faces, I'm gonna do some, build some Jane Davenport faces with these stencils. I'm gonna use this. So this is my mixed media 
um, notebook from Canson. And it's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Now, let me see if it even fits. It does, it'll fit. I don't really do mixed media, I'm kind of like terrible. <laughs> terrible at mixed media, not very good. But I'll, I just use this notebook for everything. It's kind of like my experimental notebook. So I have um, my attempts, <laughs> my attempts at mixed media, which I kind of went for like an all white layout there. I think I have a video of this on my channel. Can't remember. And then I also do like just drawing, doodling, watercoloring. And I like having this mixed media notebook because it gives you the option to like, oh, maybe you want to watercolor today. Maybe you want to draw today. Maybe you want to paint on it. It's a good um, option to have. And sometimes I just do like crazy collages, like using up my scraps. Nothing too fancy. So it's just kind of like a an everything kind of notebook. You know what I mean? <coughs> it's an everything kind of notebook. So I can try a little bit of everything. And um, so yeah, let's try out these stencils. So I have my notebook there. I'm gonna be using the cake pastels. And I think for my face, like to actually stencil down the face, I'm gonna do it in black. So I'm gonna use is that upside down? No. <laughs> Nouveau Hybrid Ink in Black Shadow. So this is a great uh, stamp ink because you can use it with either watercolors or alcohol markers. Not that I have alcohol markers with me or that I own any, <laughs> um, but it's just a good ink pad to have in case you go either way. It's not gonna smudge or smear. Definitely recommend Nouveau stuff from Tonic. All right, so I got that, and then I'm gonna use these guys. Gosh, I keep pulling upside down. Those guys. And then, for putting the color onto the, what do you call it, the page, through my stencil, I'm gonna be doing, using these. So these are baton blenders. They're double-sided little foam things. Um, <clears throat> they kind of look like those like old-school eyeshadow things eyeshadow applicators. So these are also from Jane Davenport. They're called Baton Blenders and they're amazing. So it's not foam. It's not, I mean, it does say it's like dual tipped foam, but it's really not. It's like premium high quality foam, I guess. It almost feels like um, memory foam. So I really <laughs> just gonna stay here and just squeeze it and play with it because it's so fun. But yeah, these are really great quality. So I got these also on Craft Stash and um, Baton Blenders. And those I've also linked in the video if you want to take a look at those. I think it comes with like a big old, big old honking pack of like 20 or something. But these are really great for, you can use them with the palette pastels. And I have a feeling you can also use them with the um, Tim Holtz Distress inks and probably Distress Oxides too. So just a little, blending kind of, um, blending kind of bud, bud? Then blending applicator. <laughs> All right, so let us begin. All right, I'm gonna, gonna flip you. Don't you worry about a thing. One second, close your eyes, count to 60. Close your eyes and count to 60. <laughs> One second. Don't not really count that long. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. How am I going to do this? I forget how I do this. Oh, yeah. I point you the other way. Nope. Didn't work. There it is. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> One day I won't have this problem anymore. One day soon, hopefully. Yeah. Give me one second. My phone is always insanely hot after this. Ooh, yeah. 
That's a little too low. Gotta get the full effect. All right. Okay. Happy with that. Let's me get my laptop up here. My laptop is working again. Strangely. Don't know why. All right, so again, the stencils that I'm using are the Jane Davenport Making Faces, Build a Face or something like that. Build a Face. No, not Build a Face. Foundation Layer Set. So we will start off with my Nouveau Hybrid Ink. Tracy says her craft stash parcel just arrived this second. No way, that's so cool. Ooh, you guys are all talking about knitting. <laughs> oh, Tracy says nothing exciting. Um, cosmic shimmer glue, double-sided tape, and watercolor card. Just essentials. That is exciting though. I get excited by glue. <laughs> I've decided I do. <laughs> all right. So we're going to pick our face. Should we pick the hair first or the face? Let's go with the face. So, to start, hmm, let's see. I'm gonna open up my cake pastels. Ooh, they're so pretty. Look, they're untouched. Oh, there's a little scratch there, don't know why. But they're brand new, untouched, that's so cool. Bye, Ambi. Have a good day. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. <laughs> All right. So we've got that. I have this little, like, makeup sponge. This is like a proper makeup sponge. And we will pick up some of this color. I have a feeling it's going to be too dark. Might be too black. We'll see. I just kind of want a light gray. Honestly. something very faint. Ooh, what a jawline, what a jawline, gorgeous. Okay, let's do the hair next. So grabbing the hair stencil, and this one's cool because you can do a bob if you just stop stenciling here, or you can do the long, luscious locks. So it's really up to you. Um, let's see. What a feeling. Okay, now you don't wanna go back over her face, really. So kind of avoid the, um, avoid the face, the face area. Except maybe at the top where her little fringe is. Also, I should have been using the other side of this spongy thing. Don't know why I went for the opposite side. There we go. Give her some long, luscious locks. Sorry, I'm quiet, I'm concentrating. <laughs> Sam's taking off, goodbye Sam. Thank you so much for watching. You guys should definitely follow Sam of Mixed Up Craft. She's an excellent crafter. Make some beautiful cards, kinetic cards, beautiful boxes, all kinds of crafty goodies. Definitely one to follow. All right. Ta-da! Not bad, not bad, building that face. It's so fun, I feel like a little kid again. 
And then we can grab the <clears throat> eyes, pick the eyes. Let's go with the ones at the bottom. Ooh, beautiful. These are the coolest little things in the world. I'm loving these stencils. Do we give her a highbrow? <laughs> like all the way up here? No. Let's give her a normal brow. Yes! I am loving this! This is so fun, guys. And let's give her... Oh, she's got nose options, too. That's cool. So let's see. You can kind of see through the stencil to see where you want your nose. I mean, obviously you wouldn't want it up there. So you kind of want to maybe have it down here a little bit to give her kind of a long nose. Oh, I think if my stencil shifted at the last second, it might be a little crooked. No, it's not bad. <laughs> okay, cool. And now time for the lips. Should we give her big lips or smaller lips? Go with these. Yeah, that is so, so cool, guys. I am so excited about these. I've been wanting these forever since they came out. I've had my eye on them. Where is, <clears throat> I'm trying to find my little, um, there it is, my little cleaning cleaning thing. My little microfiber cloth. Hoping to clean these off. You might be stained forever, but that's alright. So this is just a microfiber cleaning cloth that my mama gave me. <laughs> she gave me a bunch of them. Um, but they're good for cleaning your stamps as well. And it's also great because you're not using like a million wipes, which is cool. All right. Happy with my face. So now I can start to add some color here. Now, if you are really good at painting, you can use acrylic paints for this. <clears throat> I'm not too comfortable with painting. So I'll just use these little palette pastels because they're really cool. I think they're really easy to work with. So I'm going to start off the face. Start off with maybe this color. So I'm using the Baton Blender. Moving this over just a hair. Um, picking up some of that color on these amazing little foam applicators. And then we're just going to go over, over her face, over her skin. Oh, I forgot to give her a neck. We'll do that later. So I should have started maybe with a darker color. Oh, that's a little too dark. That's cool. She's got a tan. She's been on holiday. We'll blend these two colors out a little bit. Go back to this one. I'm sure it has a name. Oh, they do. They have names on the swatch, the swatch card. So I'm thinking this one is, I don't know which one's which. So like this. Oh, I think it's like this. So this one is Whisper. This one is Blaze. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not sure how the, <laughs> the color naming works. These work pretty well. I think originally in the Making Faces collection, 
the way that Jane Davenport designed it was that you would use, for the face you would use, she has like some foundation colors. Uh, they're acrylic paints, but they're in foundation colors. Like actual, almost like face foundation. They look like face foundation and everything. <laughs> um, and so you would paint your face that you build with your stencil, you paint it with that, um, with that paint, that special acrylic paint. But it was a little bit pricey and I didn't get it because I have a feeling I would, wouldn't use it for anything else other than building these faces and I don't do much painting because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but um, yes. Deb is taking off. She's going to sleep. You going to sleep, Deb? All right. So I think these palette pastels are for more like creating the eyeshadow effect and the blush effect on her face. They're not so much for painting your, you know, the foundation on these faces, but I don't know. I think it's all right. I think it'll work for now. Okay. So that is not looking very blended. <laughs> I think you would have to take your time to really blend this out. But these are really fun. These little stencils are fun, especially if you're not, <clears throat> if you don't feel like you have strong drawing skills, which I think I would take forever to even draw this face. <laughs> it would just take me like all day to get it just right. So I'd rather just use the stencils, get my face done, and then get to play with all these little different colors. All right, let's switch over. Let's give her some lippies, lip color for now. Oh. And we'll give her some, should have used another one so I don't like build my, sorry, mess up the colors too much, like switch them. No, what, what is it? Contaminate the colors, like cross contaminate the colors. It's cool, it's cool. All right, I think I got too little heavy-handed on this side. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Happy with that. Let's go with a, <clears throat> just a darker color. Up here, we'll give her a little crease line. Blend that out in just a bit. But it's just for like, just having fun. Just having a little fun. Takes me back to like, when I was a little kid. Like paper dolls, I don't know if you guys use paper dolls. Doing a little contouring on her. Whoa, that's a little. <laughs> that's what happens to me every time I contour. It's just like, that's a little much. <laughs> Why did you do that? That's too heavy handed. So we're just adding a little line here from her brow to the edge of her nose. We went on this side. Blend that out a touch. We'll blend this out with the um, <clears throat> with the first light shade I was using. I 
Blend out that crease line. This is so fun, like opening your order, your craft supply order, and then having like a play. <laughs> it's really fun, guys. <laughs> I wish I could afford to do this every day. That would be amazing. Now I love that with these um, Jane Davenport making faces, uh, they're always like very artsy fartsy. So you can do like purple cheeks, purple lips, and they'll look really fun. At least that's what Jane Davenport does. She just is so amazing. She gets away with it. <laughs> She's so good. All right, so we'll go back with the lighter color and we'll blend blend those two. It's a lot like putting on makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Blend out that crease line. She looks very bronzed. She was definitely in Hawaii. Blend, blend, blend. I feel like I need to have more practice with these. Maybe get some different kind of paper, something that's a little bit more smooth. Easier to blend these pastels. I don't know, it's pretty fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are having fun, but I am having fun. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of this white here on her brow bone. <clears throat> Give her a bit of a highlight, excuse me. Thank you, Tracy says that she's loving watching this. I'm so glad. I really cannot thank you guys enough for tuning in after um, leaving Craft Stash like I'm like, I still want to stay in touch with the face, my Facebook friends. So I'm glad we're still able to connect here. So thank you, thank you for that. Let's put some of this white under her eye. Kind of accentuate a little bit. So yeah, thank you, thank you for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Just putting some of that white, trying to blend this out even more. Mm. I feel like you can see the contour better in person. <laughs> Maybe you can see it on online too. So for her eyes, ooh, we don't have blue. What do I do? Let me grab <clears throat> some distress inks. Trying to reach for my distress inks behind me. Because there's no blue in that set. Give her some blue eyes. You can give her some brown eyes. Let's give her some green eyes. That'll be fun. And then I can test out how these little blenders work with your distress inks. So again, the baton blenders are from Jane Court. Let me test that out before I commit to it. Yeah, they work guys. Nice little blending option. This would be good for, these little baton blenders would be good for stencils that are on the smaller side. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's add, um, so it did work with the baton blenders, work with distress inks, real happy about that. But I wanted to add the, flower on in her hair 
from the stencil. So we'll put that there. Grab the pink one. And we will do purple. Let's do... Let me grab my green again. So this Distress Ink is mowed non. So I'll grab the green to do the, the leafy part. And then we'll use the this pink or maybe the purple from the birthday suit palette to add um, to add the floral the color to the flower to the petals petals which one is that I'll use a new one for the purple so I'm using the purple down here in this corner. How many blender, Tracy wants to know how many blender wands are in a pack. Blender batons, I don't know. I think it's like 18 or 20, it's quite a bit. I have the link in the video description if you want to see. Because I can't remember. It's quite a big pack. All right. So we're putting that purpley stencil right through. And this would be fun to just have like a journal. You can do a journal page like this, or maybe you have a whole journal dedicated to just these different faces and different combinations that you can make. Because you can do short hair um, if you want. You can draw your own eyebrows. Um, it's just a really fun, fun set. You can give her like a flower shirt, like add the roses down here on the bottom. You could have loads and loads and loads of fun with this set. Okay, so I'm gonna grab peeled paint distress ink. Use the other side just to add some darker shade of pink, pink, <laughs> darker shade of pink, no, darker shade of green. Goodness, guys. <laughs> so just kind of blend those and I can flip this over. And with the residue kind of, not the residue, like the leftover kind of blend that out. Oh no, just contaminated again. Why did I do that? It's cool, it's cool. We're fine. Also, we could probably add, oh, maybe I should have done that first. I could have taken the lighter purple and gone over certain areas first and then used the darker purple for like the shadows, just to kind of give it some different, um, different tones. Okay. There it is. Oh, I can, I know what I can do. I can use the light purple, maybe the pink, to fill in the rest of the flower. That's a good idea, that's a better idea. It's just all about the like just having a play, just having a little moment to yourself in the morning, Saturday morning, maybe with your coffee, just enjoy a little crafty time. I'm going back and kind of doing some freehand shadow, like just adding some shadows here and there. I feel like when you use light and darks, so it just gives it better depth. It's a little bit more realistic. Okay, cool, cool. Happy about that. 
Then you can do the hair, which keep some brown hair. I think the um, it would probably be easier to do like paints for the hair, but these cake pastels are pretty versatile. You can use them to paint, kind of. And they're so pretty. You know how sometimes when you buy something, you're like, you know, I kind of regret buying that, but so far, no regrets, guys. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe in a month when I don't use these. But I hope not. They're really fun. Hopefully I have some time later today to keep playing and then I'll share what I've made. Share the other faces and whatnot. Cool, cool, cool. All right. <clears throat> that was fun. I really liked that. I hope you liked that too. That was really, really cool. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Awesome, so that again was the Jane Davenport Baton Blenders. That was the Palette Pastel Birthday Suit. Uh, and Sorry, Palette Pastel Birthday Suit and then the Foundations. Build a foundation, foundation layers. Why can't I remember the name? And foundation layers stencils. Ooh, these clean up really good with the microfiber cloth. All right. And then I have to figure out how these swatch. Maybe they go like this and the corresponding colors are these. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure how these, how you can tell which color is which one. I'm thinking they're like this. And this one over here is called Sunset Kiss. Maybe it is. I don't know. But then this one down here in the corner is called Bay. I don't know. Okay, I've got to watch a video. See how those work. But anyway, I wanted to show you equally. Um, the equally cool, equally exciting, <laughs> and really inexpensive. The masking sheets. So these are from Sticks 2. I have a feeling these are only available in the UK, this brand. Um, I didn't, I couldn't find them on Amazon. So if you head to, I think I included a link below. If you are in the US, head to craftstash.us. If you're a new customer, I think you get 15% off. Pretty sure about that. And then you can get these. These are a pound. So that should be like $1.30, $1.25. Um, so these are great for doing stamp masks. Um, they're great for doing st stamp masks, like building, sorry, making masks for your stamps, but they're also really great for different techniques, different stamping techniques. So I'm going to do a really, really, really easy one. So I'm grabbing my craft mat and um, let's see. These are some pocket letter size cards. So these are ATC size cards, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And then I have a stamp set. This is from the Bright Rosa Paper Craft Society box. This is one of my, this might be the favorite, my favorite box. <laughs> Um, the bright rosa one from Paula Pascual. It was beautiful. Uh, smile is a new color. Uh, Karis has a question. She says, can you cut the stamp mask with dies? Yes, you can. You can do some die cutting. Sorry for the crinkly package noise. So here's the sheet. It's just one sheet. 
and then it has this um, sticky back, like light, tacky, sticky back to it. So I'm just going to trim a little square here. Let's do, a, let's do some strips. So I'm using my Fiskars trimmer. Let me do it this way so I know I can tell you the measurements. So I'm gonna go with about two inch, two inch little strip. And then, <clears throat> let's see, maybe like that. Yeah. So, two inch strip by three inch strip. And of course you wanna to try to keep reusing these over and over and over again. So I'll cut one like that. So save your masks. And I need a stamp block. You know what, I saw like three stamp blocks earlier and I thought, oh, I need those stamp blocks for later. And now I don't know where they went. Oh, there they are. Making a mess. only find my massive one. <laughs> my massive stamp block. All right, that's cool. We'll use that. So we will add our mask. So first I will grab this one and we'll just put it in the center here to create kind of like a frame or my ETC card, my pocket letter card. Put it in the center there. And you wanna, if you want, you should save the plastic so that you can use them again. You can also do a, use this little guy and do, put it up here like that. And then this one can just go Maybe across the way like this. And yes, you can run these through your die cutting machine. And they feel kind of like, kind of like a cloth. They don't feel like paper. And we'll just put that across, maybe across the center, like that. That's good. All right, and then we're gonna grab our stamps. I'm gonna use, hmm. Choices, choices, decisions, decisions. I really like this one, the um, the flower bouquet. It's stunning. So I use that one. And I'm gonna go with my Nouveau Hybrid Ink in Black Shadow. Ink up our stamp. And then we can stamp right over our mask. So stamping at the top, now I'm gonna stamp at the bottom. And of course, if you don't have masks, you can try to use sticky notes. What I like about masks is that the stickiness, the tackiness is all across the back. It's all across the whole sheet. With sticky notes, if you're using just like post-it, it can, um, it's only sticky at the top, so it might shift around. So that's why having masks are so much easier, like it's just so much better. Um, now what I wanna do, let me come back to my little um, face here. So I'm gonna come back here, get a new page. And I will, let me clean this. I'm feeling that's gonna be bad news bears if I don't wipe that up. Okay, so we're gonna come back here and I'll put this mask 
reuse your masks. They're so great. So we're going to put that on that page for now. Set that aside. Bring that back and you can see that nice little clear area. You can do some, like put a little sentiment stamp or put a die cut on the front. It's so pretty, so easy. Love that crisp, clear line that the mask creates. <clears throat> now we're gonna do this again over our other little mask. Just gonna stamp around it, make sure that you're not stamping over your previous Im like impression, so make sure you're not overlapping. Maybe, let's make sure. Just kinda wanna make sure that I don't overlap. Hmm. Might need to rotate this a few times. I'm trying to get the best. Best stamp image. You know what's cool is that just stamping this whole card in this stamp would be gorgeous. <laughs> like not even using a mask. It's so nice. Tracy says that uh, sticky notes shift, especially with blending pads. Yes, they can shift. So that's why this stuff is great, because it's sticky all over, and it's not too sticky, it's just a low, light, little tackiness to it. And then it comes off, and it makes a perfect little frame. And I'm gonna come back here to my journaling page, put that there. For now, you'll see why, just a bit. <laughs> Clean that up. Now I can do my last one. Oh, didn't get a good one. Didn't get a good impression there. No worries, guys. Just trying to go fast. Because I think my cell phone battery is low. <laughs> I don't want to get cut off. I love it. I'm loving, loving, loving this microfiber cloth. It's really cool. All right. So we can close this up for now. Remove this. And then we have a completely different stamp effect. So really great for, you can also apply this to card making. But this is great just for pocket letters so you can do that and then just add like a really bold sentiment there like a sentiment like that one would be cute love you and then add something else from the set which I think would be nice or sending love there in the center would be beautiful all right so I'm coming back here and I'm gonna put this little mask down here. So reusing my masks. And then we can, I'm gonna be bold, I'm gonna be brave. Sometimes you need some courage with, um, with stamps, honestly. <laughs> I feel like for the longest time I just, was not confident with my stamping and even now I mess up but if you're new to stamping you do need some ah no some confidence that's what I was afraid would happen oh you know why it's because my ring my ring over here is um blocking it <laughs> should have known that it's cool guys no worries you can just try again on a different page. So I'm stamping directly over my masks, I'm reusing those masks. So if you're new to journaling, dig up, dig through your card making stamp stash. And I'm sure you'll find 
something that you can use in a layout. Also, if you do any kind of journaling, like let me know. I love, love to see. I think um, Maria earlier, she was here. She said she just started like journaling and she's really liking it and she shared on her Instagram account. I'm gonna go over there and make sure I look at that because I love seeing, no! I love seeing that, um, love seeing your journaling routes. So that's a bummer, that right there. It's all right, guys. Should I just step over it? Maybe I'll use a different stamp. Maybe I'll do, I'm gonna stamp some words over it. <clears throat> some of these sentiments. So we'll use, Um, this one it says be, be kind, be bright, be you. I really wish I had my smaller <laughs> stamp book. Where is it? Hmm. Maybe it's in this bag. Smile is a new color. Karis. Karis says, um, do you know of the Commonplace book? No, I do not. What is that? Sounds cool. We will just stamp our little sentiment over here instead. Hopefully it works. Hey! Maybe here. So I'm putting my stamp right at the edge so that the ring doesn't hinder me making full contact with my page. Just stamping up, stamping all the empty spaces. All right. So that looks crazy, but I'm hopeful it won't, it'll work out. So now we can remove our masks. <laughs> and hopefully you'll do some better stamping than me. But we have these little clear delineated areas, like this, the masks created these little rectangles and squares for us to do our journaling. If you are doing any kind of journaling, like writing in it, documenting your day, maybe you list things that you are grateful for. So it was able to give us that little, um, that space there to write instead of just stamping all over our page. So, I wanted to do some watercoloring. So I've got my watercolor brush and I'm grabbing my watercolor palettes. And then we could add some color to this. Let's go with this purple. Oh no, this might be the, I think this water brush is dead. It doesn't work for some reason. No worries. I will just use this brush. So I'm picking up some of the purple. And I'm going to paint, <clears throat> concentrate my color around the flowers. And I wish I had a little bit more of a, a smaller brush tip, like a fine tip. Then I could really get around all these colors really well. And I think it was Tracy who said that she's loving the paint and she just might use this idea for a card today. 
which is cool because you can apply this technique to a card and vice versa. So give it a try. Maybe you've never made a card before. Give it a try. Maybe you haven't done any journaling. Then if you know how to make cards, you can give it a try because it's kind of the same, same techniques. So you'd obviously take your time when you're doing this at home. Don't rush through. Yeah, Tracy, um, Karis wants to know if Tracy Martindale has a channel. You should have a channel, Tracy, that would be awesome. Go follow it. And be inspired by your cards and your new found interest in, oh no, journaling. Do you do journaling? I don't know if you do. Can't remember. Maria just started journaling. Ooh, also I should have left that mask on, that last one, so that I could get a clean little line here with my watercoloring. So I just put that back on. <laughs> just so it's nice and clear where that line is. But yeah guys, this is really, I think this is really easy to do. Um, and you saw how I did it, so give it a try. Don't be scared. You can always just start over on a different page. Especially if you're journaling. It's like, just start over on a different page or cover it up with something else. So I'm just getting that, trying to get that purple watercolor all in those little areas. If you want to be really, really precise, then you can create masks for your stamps. So I would stamp this stamp, my flower stamp that I was using onto a mask, onto the masking sheet, and then cut it out. And then you could even mask your flowers while you're painting to get really precise, precise detail when you are watercoloring. Tracy says that she's just started an Instagram page inspired by Jeanette. Hooray! I'm so glad. So Tracy is at, a, wait, I don't know, A-S, Ashia, M-F? No, Instagram isn't too hard, Louise. Give it a try. I like it because you're just posting like pictures or videos. It's like, that's all you can do really. Pictures or videos, there's nothing else. <laughs> and then you can follow everybody else's. All right. So just something you could do. I'm sad about that there and also that there, but it's cool, it's cool, it worked out. Cool. <laughs> Happy. Happy with my new stuff. <clears throat> so I'm definitely gonna go make some more, build some more little faces with my Jane Davenport Making Faces collection. My foundation layer stamp. And also my birthday suit palette. I wanna get really good with that birthday suit palette. Like really, really good. So I definitely need to practice some more. Kind of get the feel for the blending and how they blend. Maybe I'll use a different kind of blending tool as well, but really excited for these and my stencils, of course. That was fun. So we maybe did that. I showed you how to use Mimi Sticks 2 masks, stencils 
And we got to use this beautiful bright rosa stamp, which now I can't find where I put it. Where'd it go, guys? I cleaned it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so put that back. Put it back. I hope that you enjoyed that craftiness. I had fun. Hope you had fun too. Give me a sec. <laughs> I hope that you guys liked that. I had fun. I really did. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. And tell, let me know, tell me if you have any, um, any requests for what you would like to see me make. Like if you want more card making tutorials or pocket mail or I don't know, journaling. I'm happy to try to, to do that for you guys if that's going to help you. Um, oh my gosh, this is the watercolor cup that I was using for my watercolors and I almost drank it. <laughs> I was like this. <laughs> um, and also I might, I'm thinking about changing the time of this broadcast to Saturday evening because then that'll give my chance, a chance for my U.S. friends to also join us, more of my U.S. friends. But I don't know, because I really like Saturday mornings. It's just a good way to start my day. Crafting and with my friends. I mean, what gets better than that? Nothing is better than that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And I'm hoping to fix that terrible glitch. <laughs> terrible, terrible glitch. That happened, because I really want to be able to stream to Facebook. Because some people can watch on Facebook as well, prefer to watch on Facebook. But we will get there someday. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching. Tell your friends if you're allowed to share in crafty groups, tell them about a little broadcast in the morning and they can join in on the fun. And also, oh, also I filmed two video tutorials on my YouTube channel this week. Um, one was for a journaling collage page and the other one was, oh, how I finished my... I think that's what it was. This one, how I finished, um, added the pages to my little um, mini album. My little junk journal that I made from the gift bag. From a gift bag. So there was two videos for you. You can head on over and watch those. I hope that you have an amazing day today. Um, get crafting. Hope you get some crafty time this weekend and also this upcoming week. And... Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys. I love you guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. I don't know how, oh, there it is. <laughs> I never know how to end this thing. <laughs> Bye, thank you.